Hi, this is Jay from Encodium. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how to um, convert the attachments on an email to PDF format and, and resend them out in an email. This is um, as a result of a number of questions we've had actually on our chat service and support and generally in the community in recent weeks. And I just thought it would be really easy to create a short video showing you how to do it. So create a new flow and we're going to uh, create an automated cloud flow to respond to um, a new email arriving trigger, so we'll select when uh, a new email arrives. We'll call this demo or YouTube email attachments conversion. There we go. So the first thing to do is configure the trigger action. And really importantly, we need to make sure here that you set include attachments to know, because if you don't do that, then the attachments attached to the email won't be available to you within Flow. Um, also, bear in mind that if you're using test data and um, you haven't, you've changed that value, you need to regenerate with new test data because the original test data won't have the attachments and even if you set this to yes. But rule of thumb, always set it to yes at the start. It should be fine. We'll set this to only with attachments to yes. Uh, I'm going to say ones that are sent to me. And I'm also going to say, um, I'm going to put a subject filter on it just so that I can make sure that it's not going to handle any other emails. So, oops, sorry, not from YouTube video example, that wouldn't work. Subject filter. So now any emails that hit my uh, inbox that have got attachments with the subject filter equals this, uh, and only with attachments, include the attachments on and so forth, will then trigger this flow. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to create a variable. And in this variable, what we're going to store, we're going to store an array of PDFs. Uh, and I'll explain what's going to happen. So we, we want to convert the attachments on this uh, email into PDF format, and we're going to do that by doing this. Convert to PDF, to PDF, and we're just using coding action for simplicity, because it's one of the best benefits of the coding action is you can just pass it any type of file and it will just convert it dynamically. So what we'll do is we'll pass in the file name, which in this example is going to be the attachments name. So let's just get name, attachments name. And as soon as I select this, because attachments name is an array, it'll automatically put it into an apply to each loop as it has. Then in the PDF file name, we'll pass in the attachments name again. And that's quite clever because basically what it'll do, it'll strip out whatever the extension is and replace it with .pdf. So you'll get a .pdf file name come out the back of it. Now, this file name, the past here, the attachments name, it uses the extension in here to work out what type of file it is, so if it's an Excel or, and we also do some clever checking with Base64 as well. Uh, and then in the file content, attachments content, we'll pop what we're gonna pass in. Now, what's, what's happening currently, the email gets sent in, every attachment's gonna get converted to PDF, but we need to get the uh, onward, um, emails back into, sorry, the onward PDF files converted and added to a new email. So if I do send email, send email v2, and I'll send it to myself for an example, um, and I just call it PDFs, and I call this PDFs. You'll see, as we get to here, we've got this challenge of attachments now. So I can't singularly attach them by one, because it could be n number of attachments. It could be one attachment, five attachments, so on and so forth. So we're gonna have to pass it an array. So we have our array variable up here and we can pass the array into here but we've got to get the output of these PDFs into that array and we do that by doing adding an append to array variable action. Sorry, I'm doing this very well. Append to array variable and we're going to append to PDFs and we need to put that value in there. Now the easiest way to understand the structure of the data you need to pass into here is do as follows. Just type any old data in here and then hit switch to input array and it will show you the the schema that this is this attachments variable is expecting. So now we can clear this out and we can go back up to a append array variable and paste that in. And now we can change the name to the name of the PDF document coming from the convert to PDF action, which is file name. And we can pass in content bytes, which is in this example, the file, so file content. And that's it. So now what's happening is we, an email comes in, we initialize a variable to hold the PDFs that we're going to create. We convert each attachment to PDF. We then put that PDF document into the array variable by pending it to it. 
Now finally, we're just going to pass the uh, PDFs variable to that attachment. So now what I need to do is test this. So let's jump up here and say YouTube video example. And let me just create a new email. Uh, okay. Bear with me a moment. Here's one I thought I prepped earlier, but I haven't. So let's just do that. Apologies. So here's my email. Just bring this across now so you can see it. So we've got a nice email with some demo files in there that we're going to get converted. And let's test this. So let's save. We'll do a test and we're going to do it manually because we haven't yet tested it. So the flow is now running. So it's going to loop through those attachments and convert them and to the array variable. And then on completion, it's going to send that email. There we go. So we've got quite a large file there. We've got send an email being sent through. And that email should have been sent. Let's have a quick look. And there is the email with the PDFs attached to it. Excellent. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to us via Twitter or email support at kodu.com. Uh, of course, also try the Power Automate community if there's something generic that you need help with.